purity all this chastity that gives a woman so much strength you know even uh, gandhari uh, you can say she was chased to her husband even before marriage she was like if he can't see uh, my husband is not able to see even i won't see you know that's why she put a blindfold and she gathered so much of strength uh, by just that one decision by that pure decision she gathered so much of strength and then later on in, when the war was going on she had the ability to save her son just by removing that she had her eyes had so much strength that she could turn her uh, son's body into a vajra you know and uh, that's how the strength she gathered by her pure intentions by her chastity that's how a woman is made and we are forgetting it every day and uh, we are forgetting it every day with our social media our so many things which are there you know we can just pray to the lord that keep us um, and save us and just keep our pure intentions intact and that's how a woman should be and yeah so this examples are not just as i said just there we have to all learn from it so next i wanted to say about you know how a woman does multitasking you know which is her biggest uh, i feel greatest advantage all uh, of us have like we've seen our mothers they work ho at home you know they've been housewives some working women go out and even manages house and i don't know if you all seen that image when a woman is there standing with uh, like four arms i uh, all have seen it right and one she's chanting she's holding a child she's reading geeta she's cooking she is uh, maybe if she's a working woman she goes out and work so this multitasking ability which women have is commendable and uh, it's what we have been blessed with so we can you know if we decide to do something we do it we just adjust we just sacrifice everything and keep doing it for our family for our children for our parents and we do it till our last breath not just ki karna hai isle karna hai but we do it with happy intentions and happily we just surrender i've never seen my mother complain even at that night i want something she just cooks for me you know whenever i need and she does it with such like gracefully she does it and with such a smile on her face she is happy to serve you know that's how a girl child is made that's how god has created us you know so it's such a beautiful thing that um, we can do so much for our families for propad's mission uh, and i feel the um, the quality which one more quality we have is about annapurna devi which is uh, cooking and we all cook and serve our families and love to do it uh, like even the mata ji is who work in the deity kitchen i have seen i have gone with purna shakti mata ji uh she's my mother uh, and uh i have been there the amount of effort that's needed you know uh cutting maybe chopping maybe cooking it's it's a you know we just for, forget to just appreciate these small small things we just say that are she's a mother she she's supposed to do it yeah fine but the amount of efforts which are needed should be appreciated and um, it's commendable how they do it i remember uh, i had gone to brahmotsav to uh, shri uh, Go radha gopinath temple and they had shown a video out there how mata ji is uh, had cooked uh, in gopinath temple since so many years and uh, every mata ji talking about the experiences the efforts they put in every day to cook for the deities made be morning or uh, raj bhog every sandhya bhog and they they shared a story where once they had to prepare two bhogas raj bhoga maybe and they prepared all the dishes lovely dishes for the lord and they were all packed both of the tiffins one was supposed to stay and one was supposed to go to jagannath ji so both the tiffins 
uh, were taken away and uh, they were looking you where is uh, gopina ji's bhog you know they took it away and uh, everyone is like oh we have to offer it but they had already taken it away so mata ji has had to again prepare the entire so many dishes again you know they prepared with such un- unity strength you know once she decides to do it she will do it you know for the lord for her family for vaishnavas and they like the bhoga was there like on time at the altar and gopinath ji enjoyed it so it was such a beautiful story we all heard in that video and all mata ji is with such innocence grace they spoke in that video and uh, it was beautiful to hear so yeah i feel uh, one more example for cooking i want to give is uh, radha rani was blessed like um, radha rani was blessed with durvasa muni's uh, you know blessing that she could whatever she cooks you know and whoever eats it no one will fall sick you know so that's why yashoda maya being a mother uh, she wanted her child shri krishna to eat uh, the food made prepared by radha rani and not to fall sick ever and that's why she used to call radha rani from barsana and you know she used to cook in uh, they used to serve shri krishna so that's yashoda mai and uh, Radha Rani's example I wanted to give, and Radha Rani has also said that she never repeats her dishes. You know, that's how talented she is, and we can learn from all these great women. Uh, I gave examples about, and we can just learn and try to just in this Kali Yuga, just put it in ourselves, not forget our roots. It's just that as a woman, we are just forgetting our roots every single day. and we are not uh, sticking to it but i feel with such uh, how she is made how the crux is compassion kindness love affection we can just pass it on these true jewels to the next generations as i said you know and uh, that's how it should be uh, one more example i can say is about selfless love you know a woman has um, when i don't know if you have heard about lord krishna's headache story uh krishna shri krishna had a headache once you know and he is the supreme personality of godhead right and everyone all the demigods were so much like you know they were hustled here and there oh my god krishna has uh, like shri krishna has headache what to do you know and um, they got to know they went to the um, you know health minister the gods uh, this thing you know doctor and then they asked you know he's like even he doesn't have the cure for the supreme personality of god heads headache what is the cure you know the cure was that the lord can get relief by his devotees like you know the dust of his their lotus feet so now they were like you know they went to all demi gods saying you know can i just have the dust you know the give relief so they were like no how can we give our uh, dust uh, of the lotus feet you know the lord if we put that we'll rot in hell we have to go eternally to to hell you know and what to do no one was ready to give and you know they went to gopis and Gopi's love for Krishna is the purest love the purest selfless love and we you know what they said they said that even if my lord gets one second relief from that pain from that headache we are ready to rot in hell eternally eternally we can go there you know and then they gave that dust of their lotus feet and then you know god this is the amount of selfless love a woman can have you know gopis are the ultimate uh, example of love uh, to the lord towards the lord and i feel it's the best example i could have given today you know this was such a beautiful example i could give so i just wanted these examples today so that we can just learn and not imitate them 
like Gurudev says, but just learn and keep our, like, it on, in our heads that what we can do as Mataji is, is no other person can do. We have so much of strength, mental strength that we can go through so much of hardships and keep ourselves intact, grounded, uh, you know, and still serve with happy faces every day. You know, that's how uh, she's made, that's how a mother is made, wife is made, sister is made, friend is made, you know. So, have you all ever seen like, you know, there are so many divorces going on in this material world, uh, splits going on, but a woman can handle a child even being a single mother, you know, she, many times it happens that she doesn't even remarry. She is solo the entire, but a man always requires some strength, some woman, men, like uh, he needs that emotional support from a woman and that's how God has created us. We are, uh, you know, the backbone of the family, the strength of the family and it's by the chastity, the purity, the pure intentions we have and we keep ourselves pure, that gives us that strength to be so much loving, caring. So that's what we all young girls should understand. Purity and chastity is the most important thing a woman can have and we can just keep that intact and keep that in our mind every single day of our lives. Uh, when we are going out also uh, in this Kali Yuga. It's difficult nowadays, but we can just pray to the Lord and we have so many examples with us. We can just learn from them, keep that in the mind. And yeah, that's what I wanted to speak to you all about today, which we did. And I feel whatever questions you all have about the true dwells or spiritual journeys or uh, you know, Bhakti coins and how services Mataji's do, how many services they do in the Prabhupada's mission by so